Hello to all good people of the world. This is Paul Whittakin returning to you today with the Universal Law of Numbers. And I'm going to do an episode on squaring the numbers. Uh, these numbers in particular, which follow this particular sequence. And I can assure you it's all very easy. And the reason it's easy is because if we can understand a little bit about the 369 code, we will understand how these numbers are going to follow it. And in essence, it looks like a lot of numbers, and it really is a lot of numbers, but there are patterns. And uh, the first pattern that I would like to point out is I'm going to say that this is a 9. And that's going to really help me a lot because... Why do I know it's a 9? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If I add them up, that's going to be 3, 6, 10, 15, 21, 28, 36, 45. 4 and 5 is a 9. And if I square a 9, uh, it will also be a 9 because 81 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, we're going to literally get started right away and we're going to start squaring these numbers and you're going to see uh, the patterns that I'm referring to. And then I'll show you a little bit better how it all fits together. But what we do is uh, we write these columns of numbers. Well, where did these numbers come from? Basically, where they come from is by making triangles like this by for instance, with 1, 1 squared is 1, 11 squared is 121, 111 squared is 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 100, uh, 1111 squared is 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we see that pattern, and by using that pattern, I can arrange these columns. Because in the middle of those numbers, you will see that this number, this column in red, emerges. And what that's doing actually is, well, it's funneling the numbers because the numbers are coming down and going out. So this number will become this number, this number, this number, this number, this number. It will remain that number. And all of these numbers on the right-hand side of this triangle will literally fall down into place because 69135825 is 69135825. So that's how I got these columns. So these columns are all very easy to remember, but... Uh, they're not difficult to memorize at all. Just looking at it, you know, basically we're going to do one and then the three, six, nine numbers, and then we're going to go on with the lesson. But you're going to see, first of all, how easy it is with one, and one is a prototype, and how the three, six, nine numbers are uh, equally as easy, and yet they follow a little bit of a different protocol than the 248751 numbers, and we'll address that. But in any case, uh, what I have here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is 1 squared, 11 squared, 111 squared, 1,111 squared, etc. And that goes to infinity, by the way, which is a good thing. And let's see if we get that all in there. It's good enough. Stay there. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and square the one numbers, and then we're going to do the three, six, nine numbers, and that'll be four of the nine, and you'll see how easy it is, and we'll uh, get started. So one squared is one. 11 squared is uh, 1, 2, 1. 111 squared is 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. 1,111, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1. 5, 1 squared, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 6 ones squared, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we can be doing it on this side too. Uh, so 1 squared is 1. 11 squared is 121, 1, 2, 1, 
then it goes 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, then it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and uh, we're not going to talk about it just yet, but basically what happens is there's a change that occurs right here, and that change is 0, 1 goes to 0, 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, and here we have 3, 3 squared is 9, here it's 8, 4 squared is 16, 15, 5 squared, 25, 24, 6 squared, 36, 35, so it's just going to go down by 1 in that position, and uh, we will discuss and learn how to multiply all of the numbers easily to infinity. So we did one already. That's how we do one, at least through the first nine. And three is like this. Okay, so I have a special little thing for three. Okay, so now we're going to do three, six, and nine. Three squared is nine. Thirty-three is one, zero, oh, eight, nine. 333 squared is two ones, one zero, two eights, one nine. Then 333, three, 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 that's 3,333, is going to be three ones, one zero, three eights, and one nine. And that uh, will continue. So we'll all just be like that. And uh, once you try that out a little bit yourself, you'll quickly get the hang of it. Six squared is 36. That's that 3, 6. But 66 squared is 43, 56. Then it goes 4, 4, 3, 5, 5, 6. Then it goes 4, 4, 4, 3, 5, 5, 5, 6. Then it goes 4, 4, 4, 4, 3, 5, 5, 5, 5, 6. So the 4s and the 5s go up, and the 3 and the 6 stay the same. For 9, it's 9 squared is 81. Then it goes 99 squared is 98, 01. Then it goes uh, 998001. Then it goes 9998001. Then it goes 9999800001. So same amount of nines as zeros, like with the four and, uh, the six squared, same amount of fours as fives, same amount as ones as eights. And uh, if we want to take a number like, let's say 100, threes squared, that's 99 ones, one zero, followed by 99 eighths, and one nine. If we want 100 sixes squared, it's going to be 99 fours, one three, 99 fives, and one six. Uh, 99 nine squares is going to be, uh, or 109 squares, it's going to be one less. 99 nines, one eight, 99 zeros followed by 1, 1. So, that being the case, you've almost learned half of, the, half of them because that's 4 out of the 9. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at them a little bit differently. But before we do, and before we learn the whole thing, I want to re-emphasize that uh, the most important thing here is to understand the big picture. And the big picture is it comes from the 369 code. Now, the 369 code is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, but that's a repeating sequence, and it goes 9, 10, 1 and 0 is 1, 1 and 1 is 2, 1 and 2 is 3, 1 and 3 is 4, 14, 1 and 4 is 5. Okay, so any number that reduces like that, so if 2 squared is 4, then 11 squared is going to reduce to a 4, 2, because it's 121. 1 and 2 and 1 is 4. Let's say 4 squared is 16, uh, and that's 1 and uh, 6 is a 7. But here it was 10, 11, 12, 13 squared is 169. 1 and 6 is 7, and 9, that's a 7. Uh, let's, let's say 14 squared was a 5. Well, 14, 14 is a 5, so squared it's going to be a 7. 14 squared is 196. 1 and 9 is 10, and 6 is 16, and 1 and 6 is a 7. So it gives, uh, it gives that repeating sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and includes the entire universe of numbers. The same thing occurs because of that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 repeating sequence. We also get a repeating sequence going downwards. And it goes upwards and it goes to the left side as well, but basically, uh, 
you know, two squared is four, two to the third is two squared times two is eight, times two is 16, times two is 32, times two is 64, times two is 128, times two is 256. Two and five is seven and six is 13. One and three is a six. So it gives off that. Now, what this code is doing is it's following a sequence of numbers, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, is that a repeating sequence repeats? It also repeats three, six, nine, three, six, nine. And just as well, two, five, eight, two, five, eight, two, five, eight. And at the same time, one, four, seven, one, four, seven. So they're all revolving around, and they're only spaced one apart in that sense. So the only difference between 3, 6, and 9, and 1, 4, and 7 is the starting point. So the 3, 6, 9 would be here, but 1, 4, 7 is here. 2, 5, 8 would be here. It's only one off of the 3, 6, 9 as well. So what these triangles are doing is they're all rotating simultaneously, and the numbers are uh, clicking up a, no a notch at a time. But it's just going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I will demonstrate that more for you. So the 3, 6, 9 code gives us these codes, 3, 6, and 9, which is also 1, 4, and 7, because they're the same thing, which is also 2, 5, and 8. However, 1, 4, and 7 is 12, is a 3, 2, 5, 8 is 15, 1, and 5 is a 6, 3 and 6 is 9, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1. These are 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1, as you see, but there are also 3, 6 is a 9, 2 and 4 is 6, 8 and 7, 15, 6, 5 and 1, 6. They can be 3s, 2, 3 and 1, 8 and 4 and 7 and 5 are both 12. And they're going to be 9s because 4 and 5, 8 and 1, 2 and 7 are all 9. I hope I said that right. In any case, uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to quickly look at these triangles and we're going to see how this whole system works. Now, that's the one number. The one number, we learned it already, but we still see it has a prototype. The prototype is going to do this. This number is this number. So by having this number, we have this number. Now, by having this number or this number, which is the same number, we have this number because this number is going to turn into a 9 in the following manner. 1 and 8 is 9, 2 and 7 is 9, 3 and 6, 4 and 5, 6 and 3, 7 and 2, 8 and 1, and 9 and 0. So I didn't put the 0 in there for purposes right now, but it does exist and I just want you to know that. And now we're going to move on to the other numbers that we didn't do yet. So we need to do 2, 4, 5, 7, and 8. Okay, so 2 is basically just as easy as 1. In that sense that this number here is this number, as it will be with all of them. And this number here, we can uh, arrive at with this number as well. So... 4 and 5 is 9, 8 and 1 is 9, 2 and 7 is 7 and 2, 1 and 8, 6 and 3, 0 and 9, 5 and 4. They're going to give us that number which is 9 twos squared. That's what that is at the bottom. Okay, so basically having this number, it's going to allow us to get these other numbers. Okay? And there's a couple of things we're going to have to learn, but they're very easy to learn, and they're universal anyway. So uh, it's a bigger lesson than it may appear. We're going to look at the threes quickly. So 3 squared is 9, then 33 is 1089. If we add a 1 onto the side and add an 8 onto the side and throw a 9 at the end, we can go to infinity with 3 because this 09 starts with 08. 3 squared starts with 09, it'll become 08, and it will remain 08 for, for eternity, all the way to infinity, wherever that may be. Okay, so with the 4, this is where we're beginning to see a couple of little changes, and I'm going to teach you how to make uh, these little adjustments so that you know how to do it, but basically... Um, with all of them, we are going to get this, 
Well, with this column, we're going to get this number by making it into a 9. And this is always going to be this number. So this number here, for instance, 2469136 is 2469136. So the right side, we always know what it's going to be. So 19753086386, for instance, 02469136 is the same as 3802469136. So we have that symmetry going on, and now we have one with the fives, and now we have one with the sixes, and now we have one with the sevens, and now we have one with the eights, and now we have one with the nines. Okay, so we're going to learn how to do all of those, but I'm going to show you in a little easier way. So basically, we take that column, and here is one, and we already know how to do one, and we're not going to relearn it any differently, but I am going to show you that it does uh, follow this particular sequence, because it's going to go one squared, then it's, well, one squared is one, then it's going to go one up here, one, two, one. Okay, let's not worry about one. Let's not confuse one because we already know how to do one. It goes one and then one, two, one, one, two, uh, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, etc. We know how to do one. Now we're going to look at two because we have to know how to do not only 2 squared and 22 squared and 222, but 2,222 2, all the way to 222 million, 222,222, and it goes like this. Okay, so 2 squared is 4. That's what this is. And then uh, 22 squared is 484. Very good, 484. And then 222 squared is 49284. 2222 squared, 493784. Another 2 squared, 4938171284. Then 4938261728. Then 4938270 up. Then 4938215959 up. So that's how we do two, and it's all very simple. And three, it follows the same thing. We already know how to do three, but just quickly look at it. Three squared is nine, then it goes 1089, then it goes 110889, then it goes 1110889, etc. Okay, four, four is where some of the little adjustments are going to come in, and we will see them later, but this is the easiest way to understand it and to do the trick, if you may. So what, what, what is the trick? The trick is you learn how to write this column, and then you learn how to use it, and then you learn how it goes down. So how is it going to work? 4 squared, 16. 44 squared, 1936 or 1936, then it goes 197136, 1975 1976, 1975 3082 and up, 1975 308 60 and up, 1975 308 6 six zero up and nineteen seventy five three oh eight six three eight and up so what we're seeing is we're getting this sequence of numbers and in this one with the fours it's nineteen seventy five three oh eight six and etc they're all gonna give us one of those and those literally that group of numbers is a number itself basically it's a nine uh, or it's making a nine we already know it's making a 9. We already saw that. So 5 goes 5 squared is 25. 55 squared is 3025. 555 squared is 308025. Then 308. 58025, 3086, 358025, 308, and up. 3086419131 and up 
nine, six, nine, and up, etc. So it did it like that, and it's just as easy as that. It really is. And the three sixes and nines, we already know them. All you have to do is kind of think about them for about five minutes and, and get it in your head, and you will know that it's just going to be fours followed by a three, then fives followed by a six. Okay, now we're on to seven. And it helps to know a couple of little things with seven, but I'm going to show you the easiest way. But if you know uh, something, it's good. For instance, when I put this dot here, that means this number four is not going to go down here as a four. It's actually going to go down here as a five. And in this case, it's even going to turn into a six. But we're not going to think about that right now. But there are some uh, little adjustments being made, and we're going to do it like this. Seven squared is 49. Then, 77 squared is 59, 29, 5, 9, 2, 9. Here it is right here, 5, 9, 5, 9, 2, 9. Very good. Okay, then it's going to go 6, 0, 3, 7, 2, 9, 6, 0, 4, 8, 1, 7, 2, 9, 6, 0, 4, 9, 2, 6, 1, 7, 2, 9, 6, 0, 4, 9, 3, 7, 0, and up, 6, 0, 4, 9, 3, 8, 1, 5, and up, 6, Oh four nine three eight uh one five and up then two five nine and up then two seven zero three and up so it does it just the same and it's very easy and that's the beautiful thing about this uh, the fact is, if you keep the big picture in mind, you won't get lost in all of the arithmetic that we can be doing here uh, because. If you think about it, if we were doing this the old-fashioned way, we would have to do a lot of arithmetic, but we're not. Now, 8 is the most uh, unique of the numbers, and it's a beautiful thing, really, because when you learn uh, this and you learn the 8, then you'll know you have some advanced knowledge uh, of this world of uh, mathematics uh, and the way it all comes together with the 369 code. 8 squared is 64. Now, I know 88 squared is 77, 44. And if you do it like this, it goes 8 squared, 64, 77, 44. Then it goes 70. Uh, <laughs> then it actually goes like this. Now, watch this. This is the special deal. 64, 77, 44. Then 7, 8, 8, Five four four, then seven, eight, nine, nine six five four four. Now that's the trick. Now that's the trick you have to learn. I'm going to do it for you again. Eight squared is sixty four. Eighty eight squared is seventy seven forty four. Then eight 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 squared is seven eight eight five four four. Now, I'm doing it like that. There are other ways you could do it, for instance, and I don't want to mess you up. You'll learn to do it your, your way, but it might be you could go 7, 8, 8, 5, 4, 4, then 7, 8, 9, 9, 6, 5, 4, 4. But here it is, 7, um, 7, 7, 4, 4, 7, 8, 8, 5, 4, 4, 7, 8, 9, Nine six five four four. Now we got over that little hump. Now it's going to turn into seventy nine oh one. It's going to go seventy nine oh one two, seventy nine oh one two three, seventy nine oh one two three four, seventy nine oh one two three four five. Where it's that's what it is right here. Then it's going to go seven nine oh one two three four five six, etc. And that's going to be the repeating sequence. So that's how you do eight, and you'll have to practice it a little bit yourself, if you were like me at least, uh, and then it will make more sense. Nine is as easy it is, as it is. Nine squared is 81, then it goes nine, eight, zero, one, nine, nine. Uh, nine, nine, eight, zero, zero, one. Three nines, one eight, three zeros, one, four nines, one eight, four zeros, one, etc. Okay, so we basically, what we did was we covered them, we covered these triangles, okay? That's what we covered. Now, that's a segment of nine. What we're going to learn is how it all continues into infinity. And it's all very simple and very easy, and it's a beautiful system. And basically what happens is, okay, so we have this column of numbers. Now, 
The second column, as it continues, it's going to make a change. This first number is going to go down by 1 in all of them. And that's going to make it go down by 9. But over here, this bottom number on the left, it's going to go up by 1. Okay? So in each case, that's going to happen. This number here, 1 squared is 1, but down here it's going to be minus 1. It's going to be 0, 0. And that's the... Uh, this is the 10th position, this is the 18th position, so in the 19th position, uh, the 27 plus 1, 28th position, the 36 plus 1, uh, the 37th position, it's going to be 0, 0, and then it's going to go just like that. 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, it's very easy. It really is. Now, what we do is we do this, we take this line here, and we know what this line is right here, because it's the same thing. This is the same number as this. Then we take this number, and we make nines out of it, and that's how we get this number. Then we take this number, and we split it into two parts. One part is what it is. Uh, so nine ones squared is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But 10 1 squared is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 0, 0, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we just saw this change. But this number here with the 9 is going to become what I call the repeating sequence. So here it is right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 0. That repeats. Then there's an ending sequence, which is this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's the ending sequence. So, if we, this is at 18 ones squared. Now we're going to go to 27. It's going to be ones squared. It's going to be two of these, and it's going to end with that. 7, 8, 9. Go up with these numbers. It'll be two of these. Now we're going to go to 36 1 squared. It will be three of these followed by one of these at the end. This is how it will end. And the same thing's happening on the right-hand side, but we don't need to think about it so much because we see it right here. It's 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 0. Oh, but here it's 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 5, 3, 2, 1 is the ending sequence, and it will follow sequences that are made up of this group, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 0. So, let's say 45 of them. Okay, 45 ones squared will be four of these, that gets up to 36, and then one of these is nine more, and it will end like that. And the repeating sequence will happen on the right-hand side as well. Okay, so that's one. Now we're going to look at it, and it won't look so messed up, and you'll kind of get a picture of it that's uh, easy. Basically, this 04 turns into this 03. We got that. Now... On the right-hand side, the number always falls in, so 9 does fall into 9. On the left-hand side, this bottom number always goes up by 1, so a 5 turns into a 6. It's this 4938271,6, that's the repeating sequence, and the 4938271,59 is the ending sequence. And you can think of it like, uh, you know, 10 numbers versus the... Uh, the two-digit numbers versus the one-digit numbers, uh, these are like tens. One, two, three, four, five is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. But these are not in tens, they're in nines. They're in groups of nines. And then we go uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, but we also go uh, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. That's what this is. It's the ending sequence. So that will take us into infinity. Every time it'll be this column, and this is the ending, and this is basically the repeating. And I show this as the repeating, 49382716, and this, 49382715, is the ending. And what goes on over here is the same basic principle. But 5 does not go to, 5 goes to 6, but 9 doesn't go to something different. It stays a 9. It goes to 9. And then it just follows up. 9506172283. And then at the end, 9506172284. Okay, let's look at the 4. 
Okay, so the four has the same thing. It's going to do it. So this ninth position gives us the ending sequence. And this tenth position, you take that four and it replaces that three. And that becomes the repeating sequence. So the answer to the number is always going to start, if we go down here into larger numbers, it's going to start with this repeating sequence. This 864 is going to come over here, and this 308638 is going to come over here, 308638, and go up. So we see this pattern. So basically, folks, all you have to do is learn what these numbers are. And by learning these numbers, <laughs> literally, since you, when you learn these numbers and you learn the relationship over here with the relationship over here, we're solving for an unknown variable uh, and it all comes together, you will literally learn uh, somehow it will all sink in and you will literally learn that this is basically one, uh, one big number and you can split it up into like four numbers, then you can split it up into, you know, eight or 16 numbers, but it's basically the number nine. It's what it's doing, and I will show you that. It's basically the number nine. So seven squared is 49. Okay, so this is how we generate this number by making nines. Nine and zero, two and seven, seven and two, one and eight, six and three, zero, nine, five and four, nine and zero, three and six. And we get this six, oh, four, nine, three, eight, two, seven, one is the repeating sequence. And it ends with six, oh, four, nine, three, eight, two, seven, uh, oh, three and up. Okay. So what we want to understand is we know how to do uh, 1 through 9. You know, when it goes 1 squared, 11 squared, 111 squared, that's what we did in the beginning. So that's how you fill in the number when it goes from, let's say, 18 to 19, 20, 21, 22. You end by doing this thing we were doing before, okay? So... We'll see it uh, from a different angle. 8, 4 and 5, 4 and 5, 5 and 4, 6 and 3, 7 and 2, etc. We get that. This is the 10th position. This 6 goes on the end. It becomes the repeating sequence. When we do these numbers from uh, here, continuing down, it starts with this and it's ending with the ending sequence. Starts with this. If we go another 9 down, we'll have added on another one of these, and then ending with the ending sequence. Okay, so what we might see here is we're starting to understand how this symmetry works, and it all comes back to this 369 code. So on the right-hand side of those triangles, uh, basically they end with this sequence. On the left-hand side of those triangles, they end with this sequence. And we see that if we reduce these numbers, we get 9, 3, 6, 6, 3, 9. 9, 6, 3, 3, 6, 9. And that's the 3, 6, 9 code. Now let's look at this uh, on the repeating sequences. So the repeating